Friday, Ranger Nation. You made another week. Welcome to the Ranger Week in Review. The show that goes over her everything that happened in your world of Power Rangers and Tokusatsu. I'm talking Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, Ultraman, oh, and of course, Beast Morphers. This week for you guys, Beast Morphers, nominated for Kids' Choice Awards, definitely going all of that. Merchandise news, Red, Red, and Zeta. Screw it. M Toku Geki Ranger merchandise. Clothing. Yeah, I have your attention for that, don't I? Yes, I do all of that and more, guys. Grab a drink, I think. I think we all kind of need it this week. Kick back and relax, guys. The Ranger Week interview is starting right now. I clean my floor now. And that is, that's about how it's gone. Lately, guys, oh, uh, thank you for joining me. My name is Ranger Liz. Welcome to the Ranger Week in Review. Let's just have some fun and forget about the week, guys. Grab a drink and let's just talk about some things that make us smile, right? Right. Uh, if you are new here, boom, headers up there. Tell you where we are going, but before you skip ahead, don't forget to please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. And if you haven't been getting alerts whenever I post videos, although albeit videos have been very slow lately, please uncheck it and recheck it and hopefully that should get things squared away for you. At least my channel hasn't been hacked and streaming cyber currency, so at least I've got that going for me, right? Which which is nice. Let's talk some Power Ranger news. We've got to start, guys. We always start with Beast Morphers. Oh, also, happy Valentine's Day. I meant to start that in the intro, but the intro is already screwed up, so I can't go back. So, there we go. Happy Valentine's Day, Ranger Nation. Beast Morphers, guys. Beast Morphers has been nominated for a Kids' Choice Award. Yes! For favorite kids TV show and Ava Rodriguez was nominated for Choice Male TV Actor. Oh my goodness, AB Baby. He went from a, uh, what, what were they calling him? An L7 weenie to a uh, A1 stud right there. There you go. I just, it's the, it just, it just makes you smile. Just, it makes me smile knowing like seeing those comments and people he doesn't look like a ranger he doesn't look whatever and uh of the whole cast who got nominated as an actor or an actress for an award it's him it's ab baby so please please go vote i'll have a link to it below but it's just kidschoiceawards.com you can also vote on social media by using hashtag vote ab rodriguez or vote hashtag vote uh power rangers hashtag vote beast morphers we're we're gonna start spamming them guys because the kids choice awards is march 22nd and we need we need 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 these guys to take home a victory i am very tempted to like watch it and and i'll probably end up watching and at least live tweeting it or tweeting some about it but i'm actually interested it's been a while usually the only time i would watch like a red carpet i'd watch anything the kids choice awards is Power Ranger related, so I'll be very excited to, uh, to get to watch it. I'll watch the orange carpet. I don't know. Maybe we'll make a live stream of it. I have no idea, but please, please go vote for them. Vote early. Vote often. Vote Beast Morphers. Vote Abraham Rodriguez, and I really want to see, I want to see the whole cast get slimed. I would freak if, like, they were up there and they got to slime the Power Ranger cast. I would, woo, woo, it would, it would be amazing. Episode 1 of the season premiere for Beast Morphers, February 22nd. Yes, February 22nd. Next weekend, guys. Next Ranger Week interview is going to be on the 21st, so that's Saturday, the 22nd. Beast Morphers, season 2, episode 1. No super, no filler. Believe it or not, Evox is coming back, and we are all sorts of wondering what is happening in that world. Moving to the future, what else is happening that we can... Toy Fair. Now, you've heard me talk about Toy Fair a bit, especially if you, you watch the entire thing, which, thank you if you do. I've been mentioning it with Team Rider because Bluefin Brands is going to be there with Kamen Rider and yada yada, and they're having a meetup. Toy Fair is a big deal. Way more than just a Rider meetup. We're hopefully going to be getting some first looks at things from the Power Ranger brand. Now, of course, other brands and whatnot, too. But if you remember, it was Toy Fair last year that we got our first huge looks. It was, what was it, like, Thursday night? Images, everything were flooding in at the time. I think there was like the call on Saturday. I live streamed with Token Chris for like six hours that day. There was a lot of fun stuff, and hopefully, we'll be able to get some really good looks at Beast Morphers Season 2 merchandise. Now, I know some of it's already trickling out. I just saw some people in their local stores, so keep an eye out for it. I know this is merchandise news, but keep an eye out for it. Like the Beast Morphers with the Beast X mode, uh, I believe it was uh, Vargoyle, the ones that are coming out that wave. 
started seeing some pictures of them out in retail. So seeing them in real life would not really be like, eh, whatever, but I would really love if they would actually talk about Lightning Collection Wave 5. Maybe we could get some information about that. And whoa, it's, it's in the general news, but I'll talk about Hasbro Pulse later, but Toy Fair is gonna be amazing. Please stay tuned that weekend of the 22nd. And maybe, maybe, we're not only gonna be getting a brand new episode of Power Rangers, but we could be getting some major news for Beast Morphers in the future to come, and just the Power Ranger brand. Things that came out this week, comics news. We're gonna talk about Google Power Rangers number 29 that did come out on Wednesday. It's gonna have uh, Tommy steps into his new role as leader of the Power Rangers. Not everyone is convinced. Zach, Trini, and Jason go on the first mission as Omega Rangers. So that came out this week on Wednesday. Also, it came out if you're at a local comic book store or like an imprint kind of place like that. It's Google Power Rangers. Volume 6. Now, Volume 6 is a little different. It doesn't collect single issues. It collects Go Go Power Rangers, Forever Rangers, and Back to School. Back to School was a uh, one-off. It was like, hey, they had a week away, no monsters attacked. What do they do? It's like, what, I, what, what did I do on my summer vacation? Forever Rangers, though, is kind of the end to that entire arc with Alpha 1 bringing in Tommy, starting to bridge in everything else. So it's definitely, if you didn't get the two standalone books, check it out. I'll have a link to it below if you want to go ahead and get in on the pre-order for it or check your local comic book store and they might have it in stock. And then what is an actual crazy thing to say? I don't think we have a new comic book releasing next week. It could be wrong, but I don't think we do. We are like booked almost every week until the end of April and then it's going to drop down to once a month and we are all not going to know what to do with our hands. Let's move to some gaming news. We'll play video games. That's actually that's a really easy answer. We'll, we'll play games. Let's start with uh, Renegade Game Studios and Heroes of the Grid. Guys, Phase 2. I talked about them before. They're hopefully going to be shipping out soon. They are available. If you didn't get in on any of the Kickstarter uh, stuff, the things that weren't like Kickstarter exclusives, you can go ahead and go to their website right now. I'll have a link if you want to go ahead and get all of them pre-ordered. They also announced, announced a new scenario for the month. Their new one is called Dark Horde. I personally, I was, I was literally wearing my Horde hoodie like right before I started recording, but for the Horde, Lotar Ogar. We will have justice. Okay, I also haven't played World of Warcraft for like six years, so I'm sorry for everybody was like, why is Liz beating her chest? Blood Elf Row by by nature, I would say. Anywho, Tango Warriors, Putty Patrollers, Master Hunter Troopers, and more. Who would have thought that the villains would be able to work together in such a coordinated attack? There you go, if you want to go play a new scenario. And they're also letting you guys know with this... Very soon, we'll have more Rangers to bring into your games of Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid. Here's a little snippet of what's on the box. So Renegade was teasing us with this. They also say they were revealing more things through their Facebook page. Please go join their group. They are so active. Like, the people who made the game are very active on it. So I, I just implore you, if you want any more information about Heroes of the Grid, their Facebook group is a plethora of information and thanks to Lord Malachite for always sending me the link so I never have to search for them when they come out. He's right on it. But I want to know who it is and I want to know who you think it's going to be. We are all on your side. Like, I don't know. My first, one of my first thoughts, because it was saying everyone, I was like, well, maybe it's a really big team, something like Dino Charge. Maybe it could be uh, like Super Mega Force where they're swapping. It's like, we are all on. I don't know. Together we are more. Ooh, maybe it's the movie. Ooh, no, I don't think licensing would. Which it's probably not the movie. But hey, let me know in the comments what you want it to be and what you think it's going to be. Legacy Wars. Legacy Wars. Legacy Wars. Guys, guys. I'm a frog. The frog prince has come home to Legacy Wars. I gotta give a shout out. I know there were a few people who've been begging for Adam in his ninja form in this game and and congrats to you guys because you got it and i was looking at just his moveset and everything it looks awesome he's a balanced he's a legendary so you're gonna be iffy with those shards but just seeing the movement and the fluidity of like the the ninja stuff it just oh made me be a kid again it just made me remember watching those scenes like they're poof i'm a sucker for for ninja stuff like any of the ninja themes love them why was ninja still? No, no, we're staying up. We're staying 
Oh, we're not talking about Ninja Steel. Merch news, moving on to merch news. Biggest, biggest merch news. Rita and Zed. 25th anniversary. Yes, that is right. Our beloved evil couple has been married for 25 years now. Congratulations to Red, Red and Zeta. How have I screwed that up twice? I, okay. Congratulations to Zed and Rita for 25 years, and this is amazing. So I, I gotta give just the Power Ranger Twitter account. If you have not followed it, you have to. There's a new person, and they took over, like, I don't know, in January or whatever, and I love them. I love them. They're sassy. They're literally a teenager with attitude. They'll clap back. They're saying, like, I was talking about they had the big announcement, so they actually hyped up there was going to be a big announcement, and it ended up being these figures, right? And so I was like, hmm, and so I posted this gif of Poisandra and Curio, and they literally was like, Lightning Curio, go. I'm like, you're trolling me. I love it. I absolutely love being trolled by the official account, because... It was so boring. The official Power Ranger Twitter account was trash. It was just, you could tell when like someone with a brain decided to do a post. And you're like, oh, this is good. This is good. The Power Ranger Twitter account is just really awesome now. So you should go give it a follow. But they made a fake infomercial for this thing. Which is why also you've got to go watch it. But there's a fake infomercial for this thing. It's fantastic. And you need to go watch it. It is a GameStop exclusive. It is going to be $49.99. So what are you getting? You're getting Lord Zed and you're getting Rita Repulsa. Now it looks like Lord Zed has been updated a little bit. He's got the silver chrome on his fingers like they're supposed to. He comes with some different accessories. It looks like he might be a different paint shape. It's tough because in a lot of us it's, you know, when you kind of live like, hey, I, I can afford X, Y, or Z and you don't get all of them. Knowing that I barely buy figures as it is and I really, really want this Rita, but it is a tough pill to swallow for me to pay $50 just for one figure when I have so many other things. Like, if I'm going to get to Ranger Stop at all, I pretty much have to stop buying stuff for the rest of the year. And here she goes. But it isn't coming out until August, so have a lot of time to save. She looks like she has leg articulation if you look further bent back, and it's actually cloth that is on her. The, I mean, it comes with a wedding cake. It comes with her flowers. It is, it's a riot. I absolutely love it. And, and one of the things is, you know, they said they wanted to do moments. So they had, you know, Psycho Red versus Lost Galaxy Red. And, like, that was a team-up pack. This is clearly a moment, and it completely, it, it caught me off guard. I mean, I don't want to break the fourth wall too much, but sometimes breaking news is, like... Sometimes you already know things before they say it's news. I had no clue this was coming, and it felt so good to be completely surprised and shocked and get new information. Uh, wow. I mean, I, I get spoiled on comic books the day they come out. I get spoiled, like, I get spoiled on everything. And that's fine, because I love when you guys tag me, you know, like, hey, there's new news. But I opened up my phone, and I actually got to see it, and I went, <gasps> all at once, and I had no prior knowledge of it. It was amazing. It was amazing. That was my phone. All right, I've already sidetracked enough. This guy looks awesome, and if you can get it, great. I'll probably save because I, I really, really do want that Rita Repulsa figure. For her, we stay in a queen. Very, very evil queen. If, however, it is a GameStop exclusive, so yada yada, go on there. If what you want is on Hasbro Pulse, and you have Hasbro Pulse, Premium, if you already had it, they've actually, it's celebrating its one year anniversary. So basically if you signed up right off the bat and you got it for free with your first purchase, which I know a lot of us did with that Wave 1 Lightning Collection, they have just extended it by another six months, which hopefully will lead everyone into, you know, like Wave 4 was up, Trini sold out, sorry, but everyone else is up. So all of those you should hopefully be able to get for free as well as they let us know it's going to have early access to new product, like the things that are being announced, yada, yada, at Toy Fair. Again, next Saturday. So next Saturday is not only Toy Fair and Beast Morphers, but potentially new merchandise up for pre-order. If you haven't done it, just Google Calendar, whatever you use, Saturday, just m make a mark. Pay attention to Power Rangers. It's going to be a bonkers, 
bonkers day. And if it's not, I am going to be so ridiculously disappointed. You will also get a uh, special conve convention access. I feel like in one, like if you're a Hasbro Pulse premium member, like you maybe got to cut the line or, or something like that. And then it also says surprise gifts with purchase. Now I haven't really gotten anything from them since wave one. It's just nothing. I haven't been like, oh, I have to buy this and, and not. I ended up getting Lord Dracon. Like I pre-ordered them off Amazon or whatever. I know I'm a bad Hasbro fan, but there you go. Hasbro Pulse print, print pop, has, has, there you go. Hasbro Pulse Premium free for another six months if you were already signed up. Con news, guys. We have some convention news. Okay, so last week I talked about Ranger Shop. We're going to go over them first. Last week I talked about Ranger Shop and I said there was going to be a guest and it, I didn't have it yet. Well, boom. It is Austin St. John who's going to be at Ranger Shop and pop all of the days if you want to go ahead and go meet him. And the guest that was just announced today on Friday is Kevin Kleinberg. Yeah, trip from Time Force. And I, they already have a few Time Force guys there. So, I mean, fingers crossed, get a whole bunch of the team. If we could get like a full team reunion, it would be really cool. But if you have suggestions, if you have something you really want to know, please reach out to them. They're really great on social media. And they're also asking you guys, hey, last year for Ranger Stop in Orlando, they brought in seven or eight, whatever that number says, seven or eight international rare guests. And they're reaching out to you guys saying, hey, who do you want to see in Ranger Stop Orlando 2020? What international or rare guests? Because they're going to do their best. They did. They moved whatever in the world it took to get those guys to us last year and let them know who you want to see this year. Personally, RPM cast. Just RPM reunion, RPM cast. I would just, oh, it'd be awesome. But that other convention, that other, what was, what is it called? Power more oh, Power Morphicon. That's what it is. They had another huge list of announcements and it included, as I was saying, Austin St. John, Day Zero only. It also has Carla Perez. Is it going to be before or after? I'll have to look it up, but it'll be before or after that Rita Repulsa. Oh, I love, like, she's finally getting an action figure. Barbara Cuts in it. Oh, it's going to be great. So they're going to be there. Uh, Patrick David, who is Psycho Red, Jack Guzman, Ryan Parrott. James Davies and Katrina Brown have all been announced, and it looks like they're probably doing these once a month, so stay tuned. Probably around the beginning of March, we'll be able to see the next wave for Power Morphicon. Tickets, of course, are on sale. Tickets are on sale for both of the events that I talked about, and hotel blocks are up for Ranger Shop and Pop. I'm not sure if hotel blocks are up for Power Morphicon yet, but you can definitely buy tickets and get more information, as well as vendor tables and any of that stuff. Well, not necessarily a Power Ranger convention. C2E2 is going to have a lot of Power Rangers and Toku presence in it. So I wanted to go ahead and bring that to your attention. Thank you to Ranger Command Power Hour for this nice infographic right here. Because guess what? Ranger Command Power Hour, big friends of the show. They're recording a live episode at C2E2. There's going to be a bunch of Rangers and stuff there. So I got to give them a shout out and some love. And if you haven't subscribed or whatever in the world the podcast version of it is, Go give them a listen. I have not gotten to listen to their latest episode, but I heard it was just absolutely hilarious and it took over my timeline for a while. So go give Ranger Command Power Hour some love as well as for your C2E2, any of them. Like the Common Rider Meetup that's happened if you're one of those fr uh, fr friends, fa fans, fans. Go meet up with them. Whoo, this is kind of going to bridge uh, the gap because this is just uh, Toku. This is a Sentai Jamminger. If, if I haven't talked about them enough, and I'm sorry, but at Deca Mexican, if you know them, Jamingers. This is a full length, 23 minute episode. They are making their own suits. They're making their own show. They're making, I don't want to say they're making their own Sentai or their own Power Rangers. They're just, they're creating their own Tokusatsu. And episode two just came out. I will, I haven't got to watch it yet, but the special effects, there's fight choreography. It is legitimately an episode, a full on episode. And it's fantastic. So please, please, uh, if you can, I'll have a link to them. But uh, go check out Jamingers and get a get a feel for some homemade toku. If by homemade, I mean I had like really talented people with me and suit designers and people with professional cameras. Go watch it. That brings us on to some Common Rider news. I usually just say token news first, but I'm not even going to do the spiel on it. Common Rider news, zero, one, only one bit of news for it, right? And that is that more Go Busters are coming 
to the show. That is right. Uh, Ryoma Baba, who played Ryuji. Uh, he is going to be guest starring, right? And so he's like a marriage consultant. Remember because uh, Arisa, who played Yoko, uh, she kind of got scammed or whatever out of marriage. And it, was, it was a long story. It was decent, but it was okay. But those two are going to be on screen together, which is great. It's apparently the first time they filmed together back since Go Busters. And there's this weird thing, like, they looked like they were getting married. And I'm sure it's like a trap or something because they always do that. But it was just like, big brother, little brother, big brother, little brother. <laughs> it's just, it's a little unnerving. Obviously, they're different characters. I, whatever. It is just still, you're like, we're a little Yoko chan. Okay. Anywho, uh, it's going to be February 16th and 23rd. You can go see them and more information. I'll have links and yada yada. In Geo News, coming to writer Geo, Trinity. You're not supposed to know about Trinity. We know about Trinity. That figure art has been revealed, guys. It's going to be, uh, pre orders are going to be beginning on March 24th. First, it is a Tamashi Web exclusive, and I'm sorry that I do not have any information about a price yet. What does this mean? Kamen Rider has been trademarked in America. What? I mean, it's been here. It's kind of here. I don't know exactly who, who filed this. And on one hand, and believe me, my, my move right now is keeping me from freaking out more. But, like, on one hand, I was saying, okay, well... Blue Frank, you know, they're importing all of this stuff with Common Rider on it. Of course, they probably, somebody had to trademark the name because, hey, you know, all this stuff's coming over. Like, great, great, great. Order it directly from the U.S. On the other hand, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, because it's like merchandise and action figures, but then it also has some weird things like scratch off cards and Christmas trees and whatever. Although, if we can start getting some of those uh, Kamen Rider or Super Sentai Christmas cakes, I would flip. Cause you know, well, you, you might not know, but I talked about them around Christmas. They look amazing and I really wanna eat one one day. I don't know if those are ever coming, but for some reason, someone trademarked the name Kamen Rider. Now, unfortunately we don't know who it is. It was whatever, this is just pretty much all we got. But it's definitely enough to raise a lot of hope, raise some eyebrows. People wondering, okay, well, you know, what's, what is that going to mean? What do you think it's going to mean? Does it mean more is on the way? Does it mean just, just more merch in general? Is it going to mean maybe we'll start getting some, like, I don't know, officially licensed, licensed shirts or something? I mean, how, how crazy would that be? I would love to be able to get that. And, and you know, a pipe dream. I saw someone, I was like, oh, they're, they're going to reboot it in America. And I, whew, that will be a pipe dream. I don't think that's going to happen. I think the biggest right now is we're just going to start getting some more toys and potentially, hopefully, fingers crossed, with the whole Shout Factory and then that all kind of fizzled out, but fingers crossed, Kamen Rider DVD is coming to America someday. Someday. Let me know what you think in the comments, but I'm just, I'm torn between <sighs> and, well, I mean, that legally makes sense. What do you think? Uh, let me know. If you're here for the Power Rangers segment, I talked real quick about the Team Rider meetup, but this is going to be happening at Toy Fair on the 22nd of this month. It's going to be happening at Midtown Comics because Toy Fair is actually not open like to the general public. So if you want to go, it's Midtown Comics. I'll have more information below. Wear a belt if you can, like a like a rider belt, like whatever. Wear a belt. Go meet some other rider fans and maybe win some merchandise. I don't know if they're giving it. I feel like they said they were doing giveaways. If they're not, blame me. That's fine. Going into some Sentai news, Ryu Sojer, that character album, does have some previews out for it if you want to go ahead and give it a listen. Again, 2500 yen set for a February 19th release, so you really don't have to wait very long. Oh, if you guys skipped and you've only been here for Toku, Valentine's Day is today. Just FYI, if you haven't been online to notice, it's today. So, good luck with that. Super Sentai Movie Party, the exclusive merchandise has been announced. Ooh, looks looks so much fun. Things like the Ryu Soldier sticker set, Lupin Ranger vs. Patch Ranger sticker set, some acrylic stands, uh, some pamphlets, including an interview with the director, some pin badges, lots of fun stuff. It is movie exclusive. I'm never going to get it. I don't even know how I'd possibly get it, but there you go. If you do want to get it, I mean, most of it's pretty reasonable. I think, like, the the set of pins was like 3,100 yen. The rest of it was like 700 yen or something, like 400 yen. It was fine. Let's talk about the Far Pass, like Kiki Ranger. 
I'll be the first one to admit, I only watched the first, like, three episodes of Geki Ranger, and then I stopped. Uh, I was watching the first few episodes of a few different Sentai to try to find, like, the next one I was going to watch, and it was like, eh, whatever, and I don't remember, I ended up watching something else. But this is going to be a track jacket, the track pants, and a backpack. All coming out for you. Uh, let's see. The track jackets are going to be 6,000 yen shipment in 2020. Uh, Pre-orders are available. The track pants are going to be 5,000 yen. Again, pre-orders today, June 2020. Last one, backpack. 6,000 yen scheduled for shipment in April of 2020 and pre-orders are open. Thanks to the Tokusatsu Network for finding this one for me. I I love the fact, I mean, this season is what, like 15 years? Oh God, no, it's, is it 15? It's might be about 15 years old at this point. And they're still giving it some love. There you go, go scrub the floors with Master Kitty Cat watching you. I'm sorry to anyone, I mean, Geki Ranger fans I offended with that. Ultraman! We got some more uh, Ultraman suits from like Heisei stuff were revealed. A lot of this, it's been based on the manga that occurred during the Heisei era because they're gonna have this new Ultraman B Ultra. It's a video game. And these are suits. So they basically went and they're like, hey, here's all of these like extra Ultraman who are from, yeah, manga or from whatever. And they turn them into full models and boom, here we go. Uh, it's a new action RPG that will launch in spring, features the various Ultraman suits that were seen in the anime and manga, as well as the original Ultraman suits were, that were designed as part of the Ultraman suit project. Pre-registration for the game is still open if you are interested in playing. And then, if one of them was going to be Ultraman Zero, guess what? Bandai Hobby announces the figure I standard of Ultraman Zero. This guy is going to be 3,500 yen, scheduled for release in June of 2020. Remember, it is a model kit. The model kit does have two chest cavity options in case you wanted to put the, the their LEDs are sold separate, so it doesn't come with any of that. But if you do have them, you can put them in. And it also includes his original weapon, Zero Lance, a display stand foil sticker, and interchangeable hands. Again, that is June 2020, 3,500 yen. Ultra Galaxy Fight. I feel bad that I just forgot about it, honestly. But if you were wondering, it was the 13 episode shorts. It ran for 13 weeks, and now they are all compiled into a single video. It is 50 minutes and 23 seconds. Full version is available in English as well as Japanese. And I'm not just talking about subs. It's, it's dubbed also, so you don't even have to subtitle it. If you're just a fan of dubs, it is up for dubs. 50 minutes, again, it's just, it looks really fun, and maybe I should just sit down for an hour and actually watch all of it. Although, the next time I sit down and watch, it's gonna be Ultraman, or that I'll eventually get past episode four. I am completely caught up, though, like, on all current Sentai, and I am making progress in my O's watch, but... Sorry, Ultraman. I'll get you there eventually. And then the last bit of some Tokyo news. Last week, I talked about Garo, the new show that's coming out. There were some cast announcements for that as well. I want to say a pretty huge, quick thank you to my Patreons for helping make this and all videos possible, especially Alan, because I totally forgot him on last week's Rage for Week in Review. I had to make a new one. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, buddy. I totally left you off of it. So you get a little special shout out now. Sorry about that. But thank you to all my Patreons for helping make this and all videos possible. If you want your name at the end of the Rage for Week in Review, I'll have a link to my Patreon below. As well as if you want to help support the channel, Ranger Week in Review, we have merch, shirts, mugs, hoodies, whatever you want. Check out the Teespring link. And if you use the code TELEPORT, you get free shipping. So there you go. I hope you have enjoyed. We've had quite a look at the world between Lord Zed and, and Rita Repulsa finally getting a figure. And Abraham Rodriguez was nominated for a Kids Choice Award. And Kamen Rider is trademarked. What in the world is going on in our world? I don't know, but all drinks to it. I hope you guys have had a fantastic day. I hope this video just brought a smile to your face and helped you escape reality for a little bit because reality sucks. So let's go watch some Power Rangers in Toku, right? Right. Have a great day, Ranger Nation. I love you all. Toodles.